Hi. Today, I have an aria for you. It sounds like this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't an aria supposed to have words? Right you are. And a vocal recording is on the way. That's coming in next month. The Twin Cities chapter of Opera on Tap is going to be recording that. So uh, sit tight, and I'll keep you updated when that comes in. And if you're interested in attending the performance, then I put the details in the description below. So check it out if you're in the area. The aria is a song about uh, a dear friend who's, uh, who's traveling. And I tracked down our lyricist who helped me uh, write this one and uh, got her thoughts on the song and the process of, of writing. So check it out. Here it is. Hi. Hi. I'm here with the lovely and talented Magali, and our challenge comes from Charlie, who writes, Write a classical aria for the Twin Cities Opera on Tap group to perform. You can write for one to six singers of all vocal ranges, from bass to soprano. You can include a piano accompaniment, which will be played on an electronic keyboard. Don't expect the pianist to use sounds other than the default piano sound. Your aria doesn't need to sound like it's from the 1700s, but keep in mind your piece will be selected by subjective human singers with a predisposition for classical opera. So, basically I wrote this song because I left my native country one year ago and I try to put myself in the position of my friend and my, and my family as seeing someone living for a new experiment, a new country, a new kind of lifestyle. What would they think about? What would I think about if I was myself in that position? So, and we come out with the song called Tomorrow which is like tomorrow you're going to leave and what's going to happen, wow, how I'm going to feel. Uh, I gave you three options, right? The first one was, was yeah. a, uh, a, a young lady who's uh, leaving home and uh, going to see her friend and she sings about all the lovely things that happen that she sees along the way. The other one was uh, two lovers who are uh, very angry at each other but still quite attached and uh, a little bit conflicted. And, uh, and, and you chose this one. It's about uh, a friend who's, who's going away. Yeah, I chose this one because it was matched more what I was feeling, what I experienced. Because I'd rather talk about things that I experienced or that I could have experienced through other person than something that I don't really know about. And I'm, I'm kind of a sad person, so I don't really know about lovely times and I don't really know about angers between lovers. So the travel story was more for me than, than the other stories. So once we got the text, I, I cornered Magali, which is apparently not so easy to do, and I, I got her to read that text into a, a tape recorder for me so that I could give it a, a setting. French is not my strongest language, so it was really helpful to have uh, a, a native accent uh, reading that uh, to get all of the stresses and intonations and everything in, in the correct uh, places. That sounds like this. Demain, tout recommence et tout s'éteint. Tu me lâcheras la main, enfin. And then later, after uh, I set the text, using that uh, recording. Uh, I, I snagged a recording of uh, Magali singing along to the thing that I had come up with, which is Enjoy. This. So that's going to be performed on September 8th by the uh, Twin Cities chapter of Opera on Tap. If you're in the neighborhood, go and check it out. Anything to add? No, I don't think we said it all. Okay. So I hope you'll enjoy. Sound off in the comments below, and until next time, bye. bye.